um, and I've actually come to my notice that some saxophonists doesn't care to check the states of their saxophone before going to play. And of course, this can highly be challenging as some keys might fail to work properly. All right. Now I'm going to share with you some of the causes of sticky pad. Number one, whenever you have a wet pad, that might cause those parts to malfunction right number two leaking of sweets chocolates and other sugary substances while playing the saxophone number three chewing of gums of course most females are fond of this chewing of gum while playing the saxophone and um, now straight we need to come to understand that um, each time we blow air it comes with some deposit of saliva right now um if you do like this for a long time you're going to see some deposit of saliva on your palm same thing is applicable on the saxophone yes so most definitely um when some of these sugary um substances uh, depositing on the saxophone, it will cause some of these parts to malfunction. And of course, you will agree with me that G sharp, E flat, and of course, this particular key controlled by your low C sharp are fond of this strange act of malfunctioning. Yes. And now our solution to this problem. Number one, make sure you clean the surface of the pad and apply powder, something like this. This is a powder, right? Now, um, for instance, if this G-sharp pad is the one that is malfunctioning, you can just um, spread some powder around the pad. Yeah. You might not see it, but what I'm saying in essence is for you to just make sure you spread some powder around the surface of any part that is malfunctioning. You get that? Now, somebody asked me a question sometimes ago. He said, what about um, if you are in a place that you don't have a powder close to you right now? There are several other clues substitutes to powder. Yes, you can even apply sand. Just walk out. If you can't get a powder, walk outside. Get um, sand and spread it around the surface of the pad. And you'll discover that will go a long way to cure the problem of that stickiness. Is that okay? All right now. And um, number few, I will advise you to buy a leaf key. Now, this is actually one of those substances that you can use to raise some of these parts that can easily get malfunctioned, right? Now, that is if um, that is a substance like that you can just use, you buy it then and use it to raise this particular C sharp controller. This sharp part controller is also the one that can help you to raise your key G sharp pad. Look at the part of G sharp now. I'm, I'm trying to raise this up now, and it's helping me also to control this g sharp can you get that so most definitely if you apply a leaf key to this particular point to raise this part it will also help you to raise this g sharp up right and of course um it used to come uh, in two right which you can use to raise this part and of course raise this part also now you don't have access to leaf key right good you can get something like this. Just cut something like this. Cut something like this. Use it to raise this. Get another one. Use it to raise your E flat. Can you see it? So this will go a long way to help you um, dry the parts from being wet. Okay, now, now, um, haven't talked about this, 
you need to also know that you have to find this other third solution to um, sticky part. You need to have what we call silica gel. You need to make sure you have a silica gel right inside your sacks case or your sacks bag. Now, silica gel acts as a drying agent. Yeah, those um, little, little substance you used to find in your saxophone bag or case, um, this substance also comes along with, um, and most times whenever you buy a new shoe, sometimes whenever you buy a bag, you used to find those things. So they are very important. They act as a drying agent. These are the things that whenever you put your saxophone inside your case, it will go a long way to work as a drying agent to make sure it dries all deposits of saliva inside the saxophone, right? Now, and finally, make sure you avoid what? The act of licking or chewing gum while playing the saxophone. I'm sure this lesson will go a long way to help you.